Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. This video was requested in the comment section of part two for nested fractions. Hopefully you'll find this helpful and I answer all your questions. So let's go ahead and get started. With complex or nested fractions, basically what we're doing is keep, change, flip. So what we're gonna do is we are going to keep the top. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight the top in some capacity. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get that a little better. There we go. You're gonna uh, keep the top, you're going to change the divide sign, and then you are going to flip the bottom number, okay? So keep, we're gonna keep this the same, 3x over y. Change, we're gonna change division to multiplication, and flip, we are gonna change uh, flip, we're gonna flip this to its reciprocal, so instead of 2x over seven, it's gonna be seven over 2x. From here, you can multiply top times top, bottom times bottom, but I think it's better to cross cancel first with anything that you can cancel or reduce. In this case, we have an X here. We have an X here. There's nothing else that can cancel or reduce, so we're gonna do seven times three is 21, and then we have two Y in the bottom. We're gonna look for this as our answer, and letter D is our guide. 21 over two Y, check it. Next question. All right, which expression is equivalent to blank over blank? Well, I mean two over x plus y. Let me highlight that. This is gonna be our keep, keep. We're gonna go to our change, and we are gonna flip the green, okay? Let's go ahead and rewrite this. So, always rewrite it as multiplication first. So two over x plus y, change, multiply, and then flip. So it's gonna, instead of x plus y over two, it's gonna be two over uh, x plus y. Now, top times top, bottom times bottom, but guess what, there's nothing to cancel here, cross cancel. So what we're gonna do is just multiply the tops as is, multiply the denominators as is, and another way to, uh, because these are binomials, we need to put them in parentheses. So another way to express x plus y times x plus y is four over x plus y squared. Okay, and it looks like that is option D. Did we have D last time too? That would be two in a row. Okay, which expression is equivalent to one minus s over t over one plus s over t? Assume that t, and I have some weird question marks here. I'm guessing that means t can't be equal to zero and s can't be equal to zero. I'm guessing. Okay, now, whenever you have, so if we're gonna highlight, do some highlighting here, we have our keep part, we have our change, of course, and then we have our flip in the denominator. But one thing you're gonna notice is the top and the bottom, both are not all one fraction. Notice how it's um, an expression. It's one minus s over t. There's not a single denominator. So your first, your prerequisite is you need the top and bottom both to be one fraction. Okay, so one denominator. One minus s over t. So what we're gonna have to do here is in blue, okay, we need to do some pre-work first. We need to do one minus s over t and we need to get this to have a common denominator. Well, we already have a t in the, in the bottom of the, the right term, so we need to make sure the one gets changed so it matches that. So how do we change the one so it's equal to that? Well, we're gonna multiply. We want a T in the bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and put a T in the bottom. But if we put a T in the bottom, we also have to put it in the top. That's the way, I mean, I'm just finding common denominator here if you're familiar with that. And then I have S over T. Now, as I have this subtraction problem, you keep the denominator the same, and then you subtract the tops. So one T minus S is the same thing as T minus S. So now I have my denominator all set. T minus S over T times, and now I need to work on my bottom. So I have one plus S over T, okay? And now you can recognize that this T needs to have a T in the denominator. I'm gonna go ahead and put a T in the denominator, plus S over T. And if I put it in the denominator, I also have to put it in the top, so it's gonna be one T over T. Uh, again, just finding a common denominator, and that's T plus S in the top. Keep the denominator the same, T. So uh, that is my new fraction, T 
plus s over t. Now, I'm flipping it. This is my flip section, so I'm going to change it to t over t plus s. Now, I can cross cancel here. I'm going to cross cancel the t. I have t minus s in the top and t plus s in the bottom. And that's my final answer. t minus s over t plus s. Wow, it's d again. Next question. All right, again, same deal, but notice this time in our flip section, keep change flip. Okay, keep change flip. Uh, in my keep section, you'll notice it's already one uh, fraction, a one denominator, so we're actually good for that. But our top is not, so we have some pre-work to do. We're going to have 2 over B plus 2 over A. Notice how uh, both of them need to have a common denominator. We have to search for both of them. We're going to have to change both fractions, I mean. So there's an A in one and a B in another one. We're going to have to multiply this one. We want an A because there's an A over here. We also have to put it in the top. And then this one has an A, but we need a B because there's a B over here. So we also have to put it in the top. Okay, I talk about this in other videos too. If you need specifically how to find a common denominator with this, let me know in the comment section. I hope that uh, I can accommodate that if that's the holdup for this problem. Now, what's our common denominator? B, A, A, B, it's the same thing, A, B, A times B, okay? Common denominator. And then we have 2A plus 2B. They're not like terms in the top, but it's all under one common denominator. We're ready to go. Keep in blue change change from division to multiplication and then flip a b over two okay now we are ready to cross cancel we cancel a bottom and top it matches okay and now this is actually a t kind of tough this actually is a factoring problem so because we have 2a plus 2b we can technically factor out a 2 because there's a factor of two in both terms in the top expression. So A plus B. If we were to distribute this, we would get exactly that. So I'm gonna just erase this though. That's how you factor, so that's over two. Now with this expressed that way, we can cancel the two with a two, and we are left with simply A plus B, final answer, letter A. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you need on the subject, let me know in the comment section again. Thank you so much for requesting this, and I hope to see you next time on West Explains Best. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe.